Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23 with me, Truth Nunez, and our spiritual council. Welcome to this bonus read, my lovies. This one, 11 energy, so it's right in line. 11 stood out, so it's right in line with the theme. Um, this one is going to be themed, um, I left that shit behind. <laughs> so you left something behind. This is for those who left something behind and um, you want to know what's next. So um, we're going to get a little bit of clarity in this situation um, for those that want to, um, that the, that this energy resonated with and you, if you came here, it's for a reason. So this was one of the recommended um, bonus reads, and so we're going to do this for you, my lovies. Um, so whoever sticks around, it's to get clarity or a little bit of insight into what you left behind, maybe a reminder as to why you left it behind, um, and then um, how to proceed uh, or suggestions for it. At the end of the day, you are the master of your experience of what you will or what you will not into this creation. Uh, we are just here as you your friendly loving channeler uh, honest and truthful channeler and just channeler to give you um, a good perspective on you know what you should do or what you shouldn't do and then from there it's all up to you my lovies whatever you choose to do because you are the master we're going to go ahead and get started right away uh, by first honoring and thanking our spiritual council. I want to honor and thank my grandmama, Abuelita Gladys Nunez Maldonado. I also want to honor and thank my grandpapa, Abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. I invite you to do the same. I do honor and thank your trusted ancestors, those that protect and love and guide you. I invite you to honor whatever religious force, whatever spiritual force, whatever makes you feel good, grounded, and connected as you are to the all in this experience. You can also take a moment of silence to be in silence with yourselves that's also more than enough let's get started my lovies the name joseph is coming in or joey um i can say that right away um starting this this reading and settling in i was getting a lot of like anxious feelings so whatever um you left behind it was it was due time it was due my lovies um it was due for a renewal for you um i was getting devil energy capricorn energy so you could have been dealing with a capricorn or you yourself are a capricorn or something that happened uh in late december early january or something that was just really uh, toxic in your life, meaning it was way overdue. Uh, the lessons, the difficult lessons that this produced for you, um, you had enough. It's time to move forward. Um, and for most of you watching this, um, whatever you left behind, it's actually for your highest good. There's a beautiful salsa. For some of you, you could be a musician, um, but uh, there's a beautiful salsa. Um, Amargura, señores, que a veces me da, do, 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 do. la cura resulta más mala que la enfermedad. 311, March 11th could be significant for some, but 11 energy definitely present. But if you multiply that, that's 33 energy. So you have the power of Jacob's ladder. You're going through an ascension. I think you're going through an ascension and you're awakening to a new form of yourself, Jesus energy, Christ-like energy. And um, you're really looking at things from a higher perspective a more I guess global perspective whatever that means in your experience and it was just time for some of you it was just time for swords energy if you are feeling anxious about something by by late April or maybe by April 11th for some of you you'll get a little bit more that's right there we're right there we're right there <laughs> um, you'll be able to kind of settle into these changes that are happening for you uh, but it really is for a healing I think emotionally speaking um, you could be feeling very anxious about this letting go about the situation you could even be having like it's almost like people talk about drugs sex addictions porn addictions you know things that are a little bit more i guess perverted but we become addicted to a lot of things so there is a detox period like if you move away from a from a place it's natural that you at the beginning like when you first move away let's say if you've never left home in the beginning you always revisit home you visit home it's an energy it's a frequency because you used to frequent that energy so much 
that you almost don't notice how hooked you are on that energy. When you start to detach from it, there's like a little bit of like, you know, there's that period of almost, am I going to relapse back into this energy? Maybe for some of you, you know, take it how it resonates. I am also getting something about addictions in the field, but it's like you're detoxing. You are, you have to give it time, you know? That's why they say like, drink a lot of water, get yourself into a new routine, start kind of like reprogramming your mind, your body, your soul, um, doing things that make you think about where you are and how, and where you want to go versus where you've been because again that energy has a really strong bind to you for some of you you are breaking something that um, you ran from it for a reason you left it you keyword ran from it for a reason and it was time you you learned the difficult lessons that that produced and it's time to move forward um, I'm not saying that you're not going to think about it ever. I'm saying it takes time to, to let go of that addiction in your mind and see it for what it was. And it's an energetic thing. It's not something you can fake. It's not like, oh, I had one, you know, check out today's reading. If you want to check out Leo's reading, a Leo could be significant for you. Or if you want to check out the reading for the 11th, um, it's not fake positivity. It's not fake. Um, oh, look, I'm just in, in a, I'm just going to think my way out of this. You have to feel it. It's in your soul. There has to be a genuine repentance in the soul. And for some of you, you're having a genuine repentance in your soul. And that's a lot of work. And it's not. It's out of your control. It's a natural season. It's a natural cycle. Things that kind of feel like you're towering. For some of you, you could deal, deal with a, a dealer. For some of you, you're dealing with some type of dealer. For some of you, an Aries. For some of you, uh, a Leo. For some of you, a Scorpio energy. Um, all those energies are very present for you. So late August into, for, excuse me, for some of you, a Virgo, late August into early September. For some of you, late July into early August. For some of you, uh, Leo season, that's Leo season. For some of you, Scorpio season, late October into early November. Um, and then Aries season, we're right in the thick of Aries season. So you may have, you, through these seasons or through those time frames, so now to August, you may be okay and then have like another like set of, oh my gosh, this is calling me back or something, or it's pulling me back. Or if it's a person you're leaving behind, a place you're leaving behind, a friend group you're leaving behind, you'll get like some type of like notification from this situation or like a random message or like you forgot to unsubscribe to something or you forgot to block someone out or someone may just randomly reach out to you again like, hey, you want to come out with us again? You know, it's been a long time. And it's like, nah, I'm good. Like, it's like you have to continue on your new frequency. The less you frequent what you used to frequent, the better it is for you to frequent what you're frequencing now. It's like, it's a frequency. It's just how often and be be able to build those behaviors not only just on a behavioral level but also emotional level what you're opening your emotions to um, for some of you it's something very emotional for some of you it's a, it's a little bit more mundane and behavioral but you're walking away from something and it feels like spirit needs you to take a pause maybe a four month pause because like the four of swords keeps coming in my mind so for some of you four of swords energy you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra. Again, Scorpio wants to jump in. Uh, a, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. Um, those time frames could be significant for some. Or Four of Swords energy invites you to have a truce within yourself. This could be in a work situation as well. For some of you, there could have been a conflict within a work situation. Spirit's asking you to think about something. Maybe for some of you, you can't run away from a situation, but emotionally, it's time to heal. Four of Swords energy also brings in a healing in the tarot. Um, and look, the crow. Maybe for some of you, there's also a death of somebody because I am also feeling maybe someone is sick and there's an ending to a situation. Um, it's all for the best. It's an ending of pretending. That's how it's coming in, my lovies. Thank you for sharing. Amargura, señores, que a veces me da tu du 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 du. La cura resulta más mala que la enfermedad. 9-11. 9-11 was on the clock. 911 energy. So there could be an emergency for some. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're, you're towering out of a behavior. And this is only the beginning of the tower. This is how it's coming in. Huge shifts to come over the next four months. Um, the song Amargura, it's um, this bitterness that sometimes comes in. This bitter feeling that sometimes comes in. Um, the the cure is feels 
worse than the sickness itself. That's that's the song. Amargura, señores, que a veces me da uh, uh, bitterness, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, that sometimes I feel. Um, la cura resulta más mala que la enfermedad. The cure sometimes feels or results um, has a feeling of being worse than the actual sickness itself. There's something there for somebody, my lovies. There's something fair for somebody, my lovies. That's what's coming in. Amargura, señores, que a veces me da. Du -du 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 -du. La cura resulta. Cuando yo estaba contigo, era puño y bofeta. When I was with you, it was just punches and slaps. So he was talking about a violent relationship. But now that he leaves, it's like, I kind of miss that toxicity. Cuando yo estaba contigo, era puño y bofeta. Like, it's like, you want to suffer or you want to cure yourself. I'm getting also that saying, um, Hippocrates. Um, 1104, 44. Um, do not ask a man or a woman um, if they want to be healed. If they are sick and they come to you, um, for support, don't ask them if they want to be healed. Ask them if they are willing to let go of the things that made them sick to begin with. Do be de do be de do do. It's not easy, my lovies, but for some of you, you're doing it. You're not sleazy, my lovies. Era puño y bofeta. Do 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 do. Me haces falta tu mamá. Me haces falta, for some of you, something that involve your mother. Me haces falta, something, you miss something. You're gonna miss something. You're gonna miss it. What's a missing? I don't, when people say I miss you, it's like, what does that mean? It's a missing. You're missing the frequency, the addiction, missing. It's like a, it's like a clinginess. Devil energy, toxic energy. Cuando yo estaba 29, 29, 1202, five, liberation. Cuando, but, a, but an extreme state of duality. And 20, and, and 1202, 22 energy. But technically, yeah, 22 energy. You're going through an ascension lesson when it comes to duality. Cuando yo estaba contigo, for some of you, era puño y bofeta. Me haces falta, oye, mamá. Amargura, señores, que a veces me da, ay, que a veces me da. Cura, cura, la cura la tengo yo. Um, the cure, you have the cure. That's how it's coming in. That's that's how he says, I have the cure. I have the cure. You have the cure, my lovies. Cura, cura, la cura la tengo yo. Sometimes you don't get closure. Sometimes you have to be strong enough. 1311. 1311. Oh shit, that's 333. Uh, definitely, definitely need to. 333 energy, those lessons that come with the 333 energy are serious changes. <laughs> serious changes. Serious changes. Um, sometimes you don't get closure. Sometimes you have to give yourself closure. Oftentimes, you have to give yourself closure. You're not going to always understand why somebody behaved the way that they behaved. You're not even going to sometimes understand why you behaved the way that you behaved. But you're going to understand what you need to do going forward. Either you loved how you behaved and you, you're like, next time I'm going to do it that way. Maybe a little, maybe tweak it here, maybe tweak it there. That's, that's what life is about. Tweak it here, tweak it there, move forward. Next time, we're going to tweak it a little more. I love the way I did it that time. I'm going to keep it that way. But maybe not with that person or not, not with people like that. I'm getting confirmation. Hi, Truth Nunez. You may know somebody. Somebody that you used to know. But you didn't have to cut me off. Make it like it never happened and that we were nothing. Closure. All right. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. 
to mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez, to mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez, to mamá Merced, to mamá Merced, to mamá Merced, to Shango, to Shango, to Shango, to Yemaya, to Yemaya, to Yemaya, to Papa Lekpa, to Papa Lekpa, to Papa Lekpa, to Elegua, to Elegua, to Elegua, to Oshun, to Oshun, to Oshun. To Ogun, to Ogun, to Ogun, to La Santa Muerte, to La Santa Muerte, to La Santa Muerte. To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? In love and truth and courage, in love and truth and honor, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and mercy, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and honor. Honor and love and truth and wisdom and love and truth and judgment. And love and truth and courage and love and truth and wisdom and love and truth and honor and love and truth and justice. What is up? What is up? What is up? Hot stuff. How's it flowing? How's it going? What's popping? What's cracking? We're reading for my darlings. Reading for my darlings. Reading for my darlings. It is true. We're reading for you and we love you, my lovies. It's true. All right. We're going to go ahead and um, we wanted to start with the writer's hat. So we're going to start with the writer, see what messages we have for you. We're not going to make this too, too long, but we're now, we're not Ronaldo, we're in Reinaldo. For some of you, Reinaldo. Um, we're going to make it whatever spirit needs us to make it. We're going to do it because that's what spirit needs us to do. Um, for some of you, you have uh, an old friend from your past, someone you used to call a best friend in your childhood. The name Vanessa could be significant for some. Uh, the name Ashley is coming in as well. The name Nicole is coming in as well. The name Colette, oh Colette. Um, um, someone wants to reconnect with you, uh, like a best friend from a childhood. Wish fulfillment, nine of cups energy, your dreams, your wishes, your ambitions. For some of you, you could be drinking. I think for some of you, you are healing from something a little bit more serious or someone around you a little bit more serious. 17, 11, 17, 11, 7, 7, 7. Oh shit, if you multiply. Um, for, you're healing from something, nine of cups energy is like addictions, um, uh, enuber being enumerated, uh, enumerated. Did I say it right, my loveys? Um, being under the influence of something that could bring in the five of cups, seven of cups, nine of cups energy can bring in those energies. For some of you, uh, that does not apply to you, got wish fulfillment. This was what you hoped for and dreamed for. At some point, whatever you're leaving behind, you wish for this. You wish for this. You wish for this. You wish for this, Queen of Wands energy, Leo energy. You wish for this. For some of you, um, action. The Queen of Wands energy is a very action-oriented energy. For some of you, uh, this is you as a Leo. This is a female that you're dealing with. Or for some of you, you are in this energy, male, female. Take it how it resonates. Of someone that wants to take action on a situation. For some of you, um, it's like taking responsibility for what you wish for at some point in your life and then finding closure with what you wish for. So technically, you wish for this. You wish for an opportunity. You had wished for something to work on. You wish for this passion. You wish for this sensual opportunity. You wish for this. You wish for this that looks good, that dresses well, that smells good, that takes care of itself. Um, you wish for this energy. At some point, you wish for this. This was recent past. This is what you had wished for at some point. You had wished for this and now this chapter is over. Capricorn energy, the world. So in the recent past, you had wished for this. This was some type of desire that you had. You had a desire for this. For some of you could have had desire to get up and go and travel somewhere and bring a closure of a chapter. Whatever this is, it was a conscious decision to bring some type of completion to a cycle in your life. You needed this. This is what you wished for. Amargura, señores, que a veces me da... Do, 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 do. In the present. In the present, you feel stuck. You're changing your perspective. 
there's that tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. We saw it in our mind's eye. So for some of you, Aries, Scorpio energy, the tower. Um, this is what I saw when I said you could be dealing with an Aries, you could be dealing with a Scorpio because the tower is present. So whatever you had wished for at some porn, this porn energy has been very present um, uh, in today's reading and the Leo reading. You can check out those readings for supplemental energy. Whatever you wish for is now over. Whatever you wish for, you're having some type of realization um, that whatever it was, these dreams are made of something. Who am I to disagree? I traveled the world, the world, and the seven seas everybody's looking for something so whatever you had wished for at some point it was something that you uh, desired because you were looking for something you were looking for a good time you were looking for you were looking to look like something because i'm not getting the the nine of swords um the knight of swords also um you could have rushed into something because you felt like it looked good whatever it was i am getting the king of swords queen of swords energy in terms of like people that like to look a certain way it's like you you acquitted for some of you someone's gonna get a quick acquitted a quick a quickie too for some of you a quickie for some of you acquitted uh whatever you had wished for um you did it out of looking a certain way i'm getting strong the king of the king of swords okay there's a legal procedure or someone who's trying to be more reserved now they could have been ghosting in a situation someone's trying to avoid a tower as well but it's happening anyway um so whatever you had wished for um you did it out of some type of superficial side of yourself. You did it because you wanted to explore like almost like, for lack of a better word, a lower level of yourself. <clears throat> With the burps coming out, lower level energies, toxic energies. Um, you did it toxic waste. Um, you did it because, because you, you didn't have a, <sighs> either you or someone around you didn't have a backbone to say no to a situation the seven of wands in the in the something about the reserves uh the seven of wands in the reverse the two of cups in the reverse the nine of swords in the reverse whatever it was you did it because you had no control over a situation but it could have seemed like you had control in a situation um it it, it could have been something for some of you they could have been a cheater involved in a situation because we do have the two of cups here in the reverse something that happened at night that now has you all up uh, in your head um whatever it is nine nine energy uh definitely still up in your head very ashamed for whatever this was uh it brought an imbalance to a situation whatever this union was it was not a balanced union whatever this was with the two of cups in the reverse the seven of wands in the reverse you could have gotten signs with the with the uh, queen of wands in the reverse a lot of fast communication it's like let's meet up something happened quick it's like something something rolled out it's like roll out of bed get out quick do go do something real quick not thinking that's how, so now you're changing your perspective cancer energy um late june into early july so now you're changing your perspective because something's now 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 yeah the sun leo energy but a leo wants to hide or you want to try to hide the clarity i don't know but this is all exposed now that something's been exposed now in this present moment you have a clear mind now you're seeing something in a different light now you're seeing whatever was hidden has come to light the sun and the moon it's like day and night i'm getting a kid cuddy day and night this lonely loner seems to uh free his mind at night someone could not be sleeping um the moon the sun the sun and the moon and what did i say the eight of wands something happened real quick secretly it happened real quick a secret pregnancy also for some of you could have happened real quick Alicia una leche sacale la leche someone's really perverted uh someone could be from either the the islands the Car the caribbean or caribbean um someone speaks spanish but from the islands uh, something happened real quick um even maybe like a secret pregnancy for some um check out leo's reading check out uh the the reading for the 11th i don't know if you could dodge this my lovies for some of you if it's a if it's i need justice i need justice they're saying the spirits are saying i need justice so something needs to bring be brought i don't know for some of you there is something that you tr you're trying to move away from maybe even dodge a bullet by like leaving traveling far secretly um i don't know if you can dodge this 
There's certain things that can't be dodged here. High priestess in future position. Someone's trying to move <laughs> the chair. <laughs> Cancer. Someone's trying to move. Someone's trying to move far, travel far, real quick. The chariot moves real quick. Eight of Wands energy, real quick. Someone's trying to do real quick. Move real quick. I don't think you can dodge this for some of you. This Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. We got a greedy female. Uh, and something is technically not over. Death energy in the reverse. Scorpio energy, Pisces energy, Leo energy, Cancer energy. A family situation that's hidden. Seven of Pentacles, but I don't know if you could... A poor investment here with this greedy pein, a peanut. Peanut? Something about peanut. A dog could be significant for some. Uh, someone may even use excuses of we have a dog together to make something, drag something out. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, I'm getting a work situation. Oh, defeat. Five, five energy. Fudge. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Amargura, señores. This King of Wands. Que a veces me da. I'm hearing, I'm putting work, I have to put work into something I never want to put work into again. I thought she was my friend or he, this is how it's coming in. A he-man, a he-man, something about hymen. Amargura, señores, que a veces me da. And this king of the empress, there's a pregnancy here for some or some type of creative venture or a business deal. Um, Cause the secret is someone wants to run back to something they left behind for someone that they don't, they, they've invested a poor investment here with a queen of pentacles in the reverse. And it's really difficult for them to run. The, the chapter is closed with this empress. The, cl the clarity. Because the clarity has been set. Who's this? Shit. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, my lovies. Hold on. Be strong, my lovies. Be strong. They come in many paths, but you must choose one. And if you see close, if you look closely, you'll see what you've become. What have you become? A king of wands in the reverse. For some of you, it's like a situation in which, like, doing something, someone ran into, who is this then? Amarguda. A crooked queen of wands. With a queen of, with a king, uh, with a king of wands fully in the reverse. Karmic couple. You should look up uh, what they call karmic couples. I don't like to really like tie, you know, I use these terms when I use them in readings. I use them very loosely because I'm a firm believer. You can move through any energy. You could do anything you want to do. It's up to you if you really want to do it. Someone feels like they really chose like wrong. They're really unhappy where they are. I think someone's being very harsh on their partner too. Um, I just have to tell you what I got to tell you. Um, if this is a relationship thing, because it's coming in very relational, 2846, 1010 energy. There's a relationship here someone doesn't or did not want. It was a sex-based thing. Um, someone treated it like a sex-based thing, but they jumped into like, it, it almost became like a, a situationship, a relationship. So someone's very ashamed of this union. They're not happy with this person. They feel like this person is very insecure, very um, 
this person's not that terrible they were queen of wands and the crooked this person is insecure um this person it sometimes this person's more upright than the actual person that's judging her uh which i feel like it's a gentleman watching this or you know if this is your partner take it how it resonates there's a masculine energy that's being super harsh on the female who's kind of more upright than them so it's like they look at this person as lazy and this person's soul they're not that lazy they're just being drained I know that some people love to make excuses for certain things. Um, this person is just uh, uh, upset. Rightfully so, the spirits are saying. Because this person's not necessarily a bad person, but they got with someone who uh, brought out the negative in them. I think this person may have also, I think these two people are cheaters. But, you know, for those that that applies to. But this person's not too terrible for others. For some, there's a gentleman who is like indefensible. Whatever they did is indefensible. They went with somebody who they knew they shouldn't have gone with to have some type of fuck buddy situation here. Now they can't sleep and they're in their fears because they did lose the person that they wanted. I'm just the messenger here. So now they're trying to figure out a way back into love. And now they're in a connection because I think someone's actually like have, they've dragged this on. They've dragged a few people on. I'm just a messenger here. This is the type of person that easily like talks shit about these people. Makes like if they meet new people, they make these people seem like they're the issue. This one's crazy. This one's a slut. This one's this. This one's that. All this bullshit. And they never talk about themselves and what they've done. That they had that they abandoned the one. This is how someone's looking at it. So someone feels like they abandoned the one secretly they feel like they abandoned the one whether they say it to these two females or not one who's a greedy miser uh they they're dealing for some someone's dealing with a few females this one's a greedy person this one's with somebody just for money this one's okay this one sometimes she teeters between her insecurities feeling a little immature a little out of balance this person but overall this energy feels okay it's just this person is someone stuck people in competition and they lost the person that they wanted this is the message for somebody so it's like they feel like in their moon in their projections they feel like something they they hide that they feel like something is not over with someone else not with any of the people they're dealing with this is messy my lovies and on some level at this particular time everybody knows this person is trying to work hard. This is crazy. This person is trying to work hard to change their ways for someone else that they wish to reconcile with. That's not even in their life right now. They give no attention time to the person that they supposedly want to reconcile with while wasting the time of this greedy person who is doing anything to have some type of family with somebody. And this other person who's not that terrible of a person, but... All while letting this energy get away. Because they're not doing the work. They're wasting time. So, this person worked hard, uh, recklessly, to bring an ending to a love situation for somebody. For some, if somebody, I am getting, if somebody was like married to someone, this greedy person here um, did everything she could. I don't use like home wrecker energy much like you know i feel like everybody goes to their stuff but this person came in between a couple came in between some type of like marriage this person did this deliberately to destroy a family because this person was looking at how can this person take care of me so p so p two two peas in a pod they're like they're the same and something about todd so yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. To bring an ending to someone's marriage and their significant other. Male, female, take it how it resonates. Someone worked really hard to sabotage a marriage. A divine marriage. This greedy person that just wanted someone's money. Who wants to be like this. <laughs> this person tries to pretend like she's a nurturer, like she's a wife. Male, female, take it how it resonates. Or like he's a nurturer, he's a husband. This person is a greedy person who saw dollar signs. 
and did anything to sabotage and have someone abandon something really good. They did it deliberately. And so now what? Someone's from the hood. They did it deliberately through slander, through gossip, through whatever they did it through. They manipulated something. And secretly, this is all known. So someone feels like stuck in what to do now because in their mind, they're thinking there's still some type of chance. I don't know, my lovies. I don't think so. I think someone needs to move forward in their life and do the internal work. And stop being a jerk. That's what they're saying. The spirits are saying, stop being a jerk. Amargura, señores, que a veces... There's that king of swords. Who was greedy. Wanted too much. Four of pentacles, greedy. And held back from the wrong people. Held back from that, which the person didn't need to hold back from. Four of pentacles is all about holding back, being strategic, being greedy. Um... Wanting to protect what, what, what one has, not willing to compromise with the empress or with something really fantastic. Take that how it resonates, however that resonates. A lot of manipulation, a lot of lying. The queen, the, the queen of swords, a bunch of people involved, I don't know, someone's mother could have been involved too. Strength energy in the reverse, Leo energy. So this couple is based, whatever couple this person had was based on lust, arrogance, and what we look like, even though this energy is weak and fruitless. This is arrogance. This is the seven of swords, lying, cheating, spying, trying to get away with something, manipulations, the high priestess in the reverse. Also, check out Leo's reading, lying about being pregnant, lying. So someone's messy and dealing with a lot of messies. So now this king of swords is trying to make a decision. So now this person's showing up trying to make a decision. Aquarius energy, Leo energy, Cancer energy. This person is trying to be decisive and logical about situations. I don't feel vulnerability here. I feel my, still my, mysterious. They're trying to be mysterious about what they're doing. The, I still feel manipulations. Six of Swords energy, moving away from a storm, internal, external, Gemini energy, the choice that needs to be made. Six of Pentacles is to give a little here, to give a little there. This person is, I don't see this person, I don't think this person has learned their lesson. This person has moved, their choice, it looks like, is to continue to um, split their time in confusion. This is what it feels like, Seven of Cups energy. With all these friends, someone could be surrounded by friends that uh, may be trying to give them advice. But this person, someone has a friend in their camp who's not a friend. This is almost like a fronter, a liar. This person has some type of financial interest as to why someone shouldn't reconcile with someone and causing confusion. This is where someone's moving to in the, in the, uh, in the uh, present future. Because this person wants to end this Scorpio energy. This person wants to end this opportunity by causing some type of shocking tower to this union. This person doesn't want... Someone may actually abandon this friend. This friend. Gemini. The Hierophant and the Crooked. A crooked belief system. These people may accept like messy situations. This feel very. It feels very love-oriented. This person wants someone to short, uh, to breadcrumb and shortchange the love of their life so that they can have some type of financial gain. They, they're in competition with a healer, a star. They want to, they've lied. They've lied quite a bit to slow down this king of swords who has been in isolation and hermit mode. A Virgo could be significant. But in this tarot, this is, uh, uh, okay, I'm getting Scorpio, but this is, a, this is uh, Aquarius energy. We got Virgo, Capricorn, and to keep this person stuck in a mental prison. They've been lying a lot to this person to keep them stuck. Uh, they are, uh, they're secretly love bombing this person or trying to love bomb this empress as well with fake opportunities for emotional propositions trying to strategize but everybody knows this here we got the scorpio wish fulfillment to go back to their past and they're waiting someone feels really um confused the magician 
they don't want to let go of what they know they need to let go of. They want to like still <sighs> something about kill bill. They're going through towers. They feel death energy. They feel they're working hard because they don't want something to be over. But it's like leaning more towards the over than not. Because we start with the death in the reverse and now the death is here. So it's like someone's saying like, I'm, I'm working hard to end these connections. Meanwhile, short, like, I don't know. It feels like this has been a long time of someone breadcrumbing what's right for them. Holding back. Four of Pentacles. Secretly holding back until they they feel like they're ready. This is playing a game. While sleeping around, messing around, moving around, playing around. Pretending like, I don't know. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and some type of mental prison about being independent. And a choice by not making a choice, by not making a choice, but they don't see how a temperance angel's coming in to move somebody away. I just feel like someone's playing a lot of games and they've played a lot of games and they're still playing a lot of games by short, sh by breadcrumbing. By breadcrumbing, they've slowly brought an ending to what they said they wanted in the first place. I don't know. It feels like at some point somebody wished for something and whatever they said they wanted, they walked away from it. Eight of Cups energy. It's like I wish upon a star. Like, I wish to be able to, you know, speak to millions of people, have some type of show where I can speak to millions of people and be supported in channeling for millions and millions of people. And then when that opportunity comes, it's like I, I, I waste my time on shit that doesn't make sense from my past. And Spirit's been asking me to walk away. And they're going to feel abandoned. They're going to ghost this opportunity. Someone's going to ghost what they wanted. I'm just a messenger. They have literally, they already did it. They've already done it. They're still doing it. They have ghosted and in the, in the it looks like they're going to ghost what they wanted for a greedy female who's a liar, who pretends to be upright. But this person can't even stand upright. The energy gets to about from here to here. They're going to run back to something that doesn't even make sense to them. It doesn't even make sense to them. I'm just a messenger. Karma. Because I'm hearing she's my friend. Because this person is their friend. This person's I'm an emotional manipulator and she is no one's friend. And this person is a king of wands in the reverse. And this person doesn't give a fuck about this person, but he, she uses his sexual energy. And has him out here like a hoe. And he's going to feel like a failure for the rest of... I don't know. This doesn't feel good. This person is an upright person. He could be, but the energy you keep and the crowd you bring. They came to do drugs. You came to sing. Mm -hmm. I don't see this changing. I see this person continuing to hide, continuing to lie. I don't see this changing. I don't see this changing. Not in, for the next five years. That's how it's coming in, unfortunately. It feels sad. Unfortunately, not for the next five years. This person's going to continue to be in and out of somebody's life. They're going to continue to play the role of someone's wife. Uh, it's a lie. They're going to continue to have sex from time to time, use their sexual energy, deplete this person, drain this person's life, have this person depressed and stagnated. It don't feel good. And this is all it done in secrecy. This feels like witch this feels like witchcraft to me. She's my friend. If you say she's your friend, I can't tell you any different. I've called demons my friends too. She's my friend. This person is coming up as a five of wander in the crooked. 
and a queen of wands and the crooked. This is no one's friend. This isn't no one's friend. This is not a friend. A friend would not do this to you. An emotional manipulator pretending to be a martyr. A manipulator. This person plays with some type of uh, spiritual work as well. I felt it. To play with someone's mind about a love situation. Pretending like something is love and it's not. Or family. Again, I, this is... It's just sex. And someone, I don't know. What do you do, my lovies? What do you do? And the sad part is someone knows this. They know this. They know this. And something about a notice. They know this. Something about a novice. They know this. They know this. They know this. They know this. They don't even care really about this one. And this one's more stand-up-ish than... than is a, mm, mm. This emotional manipulator convinced somebody that they're not a match with someone that if they would have put in the work, they would have been a good couple or a good partnership or whatever it was. This emotional manipulator, uh, money hungry, greedy, uh, mon gold digger, uh, mon money, mundi, mundi, mindy. Um, this emotional manipulator, this uh, gold digger um, convinced somebody that their actual a good person for them. I'm also getting a fuck buddy. That's what she convinced them that someone's just a fuck buddy. They're just this. It's just temporary. We're friends. We've known each other. Blah, blah, blah. This woman is a bullshitter. Evil. Evil. Something about evil can evil. Uh, but uh, that's what someone is choosing. What do we do? What do we do? And they see it clearly. That's the sad part. Someone knows this. They know this. The king of swords with the sun. They know this. They know this, they know this, they know this. They know they can't trust this person. That's crazy. If that ain't crazy, I don't know what is. They're in a eight of sorts. They don't even know what to do. They're the friend, they're, they're saying that's my friend and I'm gonna hold back from doing anything else. They're trying to be reserved with their energy. That's my friend. They're saying that's my friend. For friends like those. I suppose. Something about Dr. Seuss. Something about the cat in the hat. That's their friend. That's their friend. That's their friend who's constantly watching, stalking, spying. That's their friend who's always lying. Because I'm getting the page of swords in the reverse. A stalker, a spy. This person has some interest in this man being isolated. This is the type of energy it's like, you know, somebody got like, not everybody does this, but this is the type of energy that easily knows that somebody has money and wants to isolate them so that and ruin all opportunities, sabotage. This is person's a saboteur. She sabotages um, male, female, take it how it resonates. Someone sabotages opportunities for somebody so that they don't move on with anybody so that they're the last one standing. That's what this person is. This is a demon. If it ain't a fucking demon, I don't know. I've, I've never seen someone love somebody with like this. This is in love. Divine justice. Someone could work in the courts, legal procedures, medical procedures, five of wands, competing for a marriage, competing for some type of legal procedure to go their way, maybe even be in someone's inheritance. This is what this person is thinking. I am just the messenger here. I'm saying everything for a reason. This person wants to get good news and be victorious because the five of wands to a page of wands and they do it through sex. They control somebody through sex. Because their ambition, that's what their ambition is. That's their ambition to keep someone stuck, to have someone sacrificed. I don't see love there. The Ten of Cups was in the crooked. I don't see love here. This Queen of Swords was really conniving. Ooh. This could be an older female, someone late 40s or older. Someone that works in the... For some of you, someone could be working in the courts. This person is evil. They would even use their power, abuse their power to sabotage others so they don't have an opportunity with her brother. 
the devil. I'm not playing. The devil. This person's the devil. They're evil. This person is evil. Evil, evil. I've met energies. This person takes pride in being evil to her friends. The devil. I am not playing. I'm saying it for a reason. Spirit's giving it to us for a reason. The devil. Public defenders coming in to have people out. This person is evil. This is the type of person would pay to get someone fired, would stalk somebody, would figure out, again, hit for hire, the whole... Look at Leo's reading and today's reading for the 11. And this is what somebody is scared to leave. Maybe they're scared of this person. Ace of Wands. They control work situations, manipulation with a group of crooked officials to cause towers to abuse their power. Someone who's virtuous. What did I say? Public defender? A day trader, someone who invests in stocks. The public defender. What did we say? The public defender. But for some of you, a public defender who's a pretender. The public defender. A sacrifice, the hanged person. But there could be a queen of wands changing her perspective as well. Because someone is a crooked official. Someone is a crooked official. Six of swords who wants to bring turmoil in a judicial procedure or wants to bring some type of sacrifice, or wants to have somebody caught up in some legal mumbo mess. This person is stressed because this person feels like there's someone that could steal, she could steal him from me or her from me. Someone's a nut job. This is how someone's looking at somebody because someone is greedy and they're looking at someone's pockets and money or titles or where we are or how long or bullshit. And this person's worried. This person's worried. They're really worried because I'm getting an insider is changing their perspective on this person. So this person's been doing evil shit behind the scenes and she is being, she's cruel. She's been doing evil shit behind the scenes, cruelty. She's been doing evil shit behind the scenes, cruelty. She has a team. In secret, the hermit. But I'm getting the hermit in the reverse. This person's not wise. A chef was involved in a situation or what she did secretly with a chef. This queen of swords who wanted dominion over a situation or wants to dominate a public defender. She interfered in a situation when it comes to a work situation to bring a painful ending and have something put to rest. Uh, a therapist was involved in a situation as well. This person could lie. Uh, this person has all types of crooked officials with her. Karma is here and a journalist is involved or some type of notification or news. Monica is coming in. <laughs> this person's wish fulfillment. Happiness. Mm. Wish fulfillment. Someone could trade stocks and someone may know that, but we have the day trader again or some type of... This person also wishes that if somebody moves on without them, that they have a great fall. Where is this a friend? I don't get it. Where is this a friend? This is what someone does for work. This crooked empress is not a freaking empress. This is a crooked this is a crooked nurturer. This person gives without it's it's uh this person's insecure. They give with interest. They are not creative. Um, this crooked empress, this crooked empress, spirit insists, uh, this crooked therapist, a lying therapist as well. Someone could have a bunch of lying females around them who are all betrayers and are in some type of sorrow because they're going to get something about tomorrow. They're going to get some type of uh, news from a justice system that's going to force them. Uh, these people could go to prison. These people are fucking nuts. Stalkers, liars, crazies, fucking crazy people. This queen of swords in the reverse energy. This therapist who wants to be good, but I don't know. And then this weird ass empress in the reverse too. A bunch of fucking nut jobs. 
who wanted to like play some stupid ass game and took dumb ass risks and karma's here they don't believe in god they only believe in themselves they believe they are the ultimate power the power got to the head for sure for sure for sure a psychopathic female who tried to have someone sacrifice to create some type of issue when it comes to a work situation. Now they're feeling a little worried. They were trying to play this game. Now they're feeling embarrassed and ashamed. Well, anything else? Because all they care about is luxury. I don't see love here. And I said the four of swords in the... I felt that. They wanted to have some, some some type of rest put in somebody's work situation. Or someone that shines like a rock star. Or something about a rock star is coming in. And they lied about... Uh, they lied or they tried to... Again, some, some type of seducing. Or someone was supposed to seduce somebody. Something about seducing somebody. But it was to cause cruelty or have somebody up in their head uh, to a healer. Or some type of star. Ah, oh, boom. I don't know, my lovies. I think the answer is clear, but I think someone's playing. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> emotions are a tricky thing. There's no emotions here, though. But for some reason, someone wants to sell it as like, this is my family, some type of loyalty. There's an interest here. The high priestess and the star. I think it's time for a healing. You're going to get really good news, but there's a dancer involved. Look at Leo's reading. The High Priestess and the Star. Knowing that good news is to come. Knowing that there's a there if there is a message sent, that it is um, someone needs to send a message in secrecy, apparently. Or there's a message being sent, or it has already been sent in secrecy. That's going to have someone in sorrow, or three people in sorrow, who wanted to have dominion. Something about tomorrow. Something is going to take off. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but something big is happening tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is very important. Tomorrow is going to be very important, apparently. Spirit is insist. Tomorrow. They keep saying tomorrow. Tomorrow, something very big is going to happen. Whatever tomorrow is, something big is going to happen. Something about Tamara. But um, anyways, my lovies, whatever it was, I think the chapter is closed. I think someone's wasting their time with uh, fucking sickos, my lovies. Some people have some weird-ass friends. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, it makes me think of, like, the people that I'm like, nah, I can't be your friend, my love. Like, you're too much of a... I guess if you wait enough, though, the energy builds up to that. I've cut people off because they're fucking liars. And I'm and, and they're not lying about fucking killing people and, and ruining people's lives. Um, they're lying about other shit. <laughs> like, you put up with this shit? I've cut off people because they cheat on their husbands. People that fucking put hits out because they're envious and they want money. This is the type of people you deal with and you think that's okay to drag that on and just stay in there? You are the company you keep, though. Maybe there's a blackmailing energy, too, because I am feeling a little bit of blackmail energy. There is no love here. I don't care if this person ever calls you a friend again. They are ruthless. Someone has no fucking backbone. They don't. They think that doing evil shit means that they're strong. It just means they're fucking wronger and wronger in God's eyes. And who has the last fucking laugh? God. But somebody doesn't believe. They only believe in, in their psychosis. They don't even believe in themselves. These people live in very insecure lives. I don't care how much money they have, what title they have, how much money they pull in, how many people they manipulate and lives they destroy, how many people they employ. Ruthless, evil people. Spirits looking at their soul. That's why they live in sickness. And they've lost control anyway. Or they're going to lose control. Be cautious. Check out today's reading and Leo reading as well. I would recommend you continue to walk away from this. Uh, for some of you, you're not fully out of this. 
I have to say what I have to say. If this is for you, my lovies, or someone around you, whatever the case may be, some, someone's not fully out of this. Something about, uh, someone has a lot of car rentals too, uh, to do evil shit to people that don't deserve it. Um, they're really, someone's really evil, wicked, 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 like a wicked line. Someone, the thing is, someone comes from wicked lines of people. Like, it's like, you know, like, some colonists had, like, a soul. Like, they couldn't do certain things to certain people. These people must be, like, from the fucking deep south somewhere. Like, roots, like, like evil people. Like, I'm talking about, like, torture chamber people. Like, these are the type of people. If there weren't certain laws in place, these people... If, if let's for example we strip all the laws away these people will show their asses and if if they weren't judged so harshly because these people try to be like pillars in the community i am getting people like public defender energy and it's like you're a fucking pretender you don't defend the public you are an envious insecure psychopath this is what's in the field but they got a lot of money though and they can destroy a lot of lives to make sure they have a lot of money, but those who they see as competition don't. I'm just the messenger. I would rather look at myself in the mirror and be okay than be like them. But they wanna compete. So let them compete. Cuckoo. I'm just the messenger here. I'm just the messenger here. And then they call tree huggers and spiritualists the problem. I don't know. I don't know. These are the type of people that go to spiritualists, but not the ones like me. They go to the ones that are lost too. Put a, put some work on this person. <laughs> That's who they go to. I'm just a messenger here, my lovies. Everything is coming in for a reason and sometimes just for a season. May everybody find their fucking peace. We all have to, we're not taking anything to the tomb. You take your soul. Your soul doesn't even go to the tomb. Your body goes to the tomb. Your soul, where do you think it goes? You got to pay your karma sometime. These people don't care, though. Anyways, my lovies, stay well. Stay well. Stay absolutely well. I hope you got what you needed out of that, my lovies. But it looks like if you don't move forward, you don't move forward. Uh, I would have wished it was like if it was a drug addiction or something like that. This is addicted to fame and fortune and people that want misfortune for others. What do you do with that? They don't care about anybody. If they would do it to anybody, if they would do it to their enemies, they would do it to their friends. I'm just a messenger. Your sister friend loves you and adores you. Loves you and adores you. Your spirit friends love you and adore you. Stalkers love you and adore you. I'm talking about nut job energy is present right now. Your sister friend loves you and adores you. Loves you and adores you, spirit friends. And they take that as a challenge. They don't take that as an opportunity to humble themselves and say, maybe there is something wrong with me. Maybe I should be a better human. They take that as like, I'll show you. This is the soul of somebody that's out of control. Because they're being called out for being evil. Your sister friend. And your spirit friends. And your sister friend. In love always. In love always. And forever. Home. <laughs> Sarah, a Sarah, peace. And a Sarah pin. <laughs>